that the, not the way you guys were going to go? What do you got to improve from that game going into this one? Uh, definitely, I'm going to say transition defense. We allowed St. John's to play to their advantage. They was uh, out there hitting shots and running the floor, but we didn't really let, let them play against a set defense. Uh, with Butler, they continue to get out of transition a lot, and they got guys that can hit threes in transition, so we're going to have to focus on that, get back, get set, and make them run against the set defense. How important is it for you guys to get off to a good start offensively in that day with all this? It's really important because uh, first we're playing on the road. We can't allow their crowd to get involved. Uh, and I think it helps us out. We come down, we score a couple times. That that, 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 put, that makes us want to play defense better so we can get down on our bats. But the possessions that we don't score, it's kind of like a drag on the defensive end because now we know we got to get a stop. So uh, as long as we score on the ball, I think our defensive intensity will be up. Which one hurt you the most in New York? Defensive miscues or just miseducation? Mis uh, execution offensively? Uh, I think Coach Thompson was missing it during the game. So we were getting all the shots we wanted. Uh, we just weren't making them, so that, that a lot of guys just going down on themselves, and we allowed that to carry up on defense. So guys wasn't focused on defense uh, and guarding other men, and allowing guys to get current to the bench and about uh, the us. Third game against the Bulldogs for you guys this season. What jumps off the team you have seen? Uh, what is it they do for defense? Coach Thompson says uh, they're a physical team, but they don't foul. So that means like in the post, they, they body you up, but they don't turn foul. Uh, they got guards that's going to press up on you and bother the ball. Uh, and they're a good offensive rebounding team. And it's, uh, it's interesting because they don't have no true big man that's like dominating the board. But they got guards that crash the board with long shots. Those guys tend, tend, tend to run down the rebound. Hinkle Fieldhouse, kind of a different big Easter man, not like Verizon or MSG. It's, it's an old school gym for you guys. What's it like playing that place? I mean, it's a crazy arena. Uh, it's, it's a home of corporate Butler. It gives them an advantage, so that's why we got to come out and score early. Sort of similar to that, you're one and one with Butler this season, but going back to last season, you beat them um, on their home court. Does that give you confidence going into this game, knowing that you beat them there last season? Uh, let me say yes. <laughs> Mike, when you look at the big picture of the season, what are you most happy about for the team? What have you guys done especially well, you think? Uh, I think our freshmen have played tremendously well. Uh, Coach Thompson put a lot of pressure on them guys, and they. Uh, they dealt with it. They came out there and performed. Uh, we're going to need them to keep performing. You mentioned freshmen. As, a, as an upperclassman, the days are kind of dwindling down. Are you, are you thinking about that at all? And are you thinking about we're going back to the tournament after what happened last year? Yeah, I'm definitely thinking about it. But uh, I'm just going one game, one game at a time, just uh, trying to help my team win. Talk about Devontae's evolution as a leader. He's a leader now. It's been a process. When did you notice he, he really accepted that mantle? I mean, from the first time Coach Thompson put him on the court. Mm -hmm. uh, we looked at him as a leader. He's a, uh, a big time scorer. We need him to put the ball in the basket. And with that, I mean, the leadership role, because we need look, look for him down the stretch when we need baskets. So. Mm -hmm. Considering the postseason, whether the Big East or the NCAA is all games away from home, and this is your last road game, does that make any extra importance to this one in the sense of trying to, you know, feel your way uh, as a team away from home? Uh, I mean, everybody knows when the postseason is going to be playing away from home. So it's just like you just got to win. I mean, I really pay attention to where we're playing. This is the uh, second year of the new Big East. You played in the older version. How do you kind of feel things have gone this year? Do you kind of have you missed these last two years not going up against the Syracuse's, kind of the Gibbs and so on of the world? Uh, I mean, yes and no. The uh, Big East now, it still has good teams, but it's just the rivalries that people are used to seeing at uh, Georgetown, Syracuse, the Georgetown, Louisville, Georgetown, Pitt. I uh, mean, Xavier, Creighton, Butler, all those teams came in and they got the competition, so it's, it's the same thing. After missing out last year, it sure looks like you guys are going to NCAAs. How excited are you guys as a team about getting back there? Uh, we're really excited. I mean, we get to play basketball uh, longer, so I mean, that, that's a blessing for all of us. Last one from Mikhail. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.